the office entrance is along the side and tucked away, beside a small single-lane vehicle straight away. Many vans and trucks barrel down the end for extra space to make a U-turn and quickly head out of this place. None of this was any good for employee safety to leave the building they approach cautiously. One day, Dingus with brilliant thoughts said out aloud, The trucks are fast, if you don't pay attention, you will get plowed. Lori had been working there for a couple of months by now. He saw the speeding vehicles and wondered why it's allowed. That is correct, it's quite a bit dangerous and tricky. You have to look both ways, unless you're feeling lucky. Yeah, but what if sometimes you aren't paying attention? Well then, I guess you have to be prepared for a collision. So do not ever just walk out, always look both ways. It doesn't take long and then you're on your merry way. For sure, yes, but what about a momentary lack of concentration? Like I said, be ready to spend time in the hospital for your next vacation. For a fourth time, he said, proudly repeating his original paradigm, yeah, it seems unsafe, because you might not be aware all the time. Right then and there, time seemed to stop, and in came to Lori's mind a bunch of thoughts. I am completely unable to comprehend his rationale, or was it that my words got lost within his ear canal? Is coherent logic like finding gold in a barren wasteland? What part of look both ways did he not f***ing understand? The concept as straightforward and simple as can be, just like the oven at home or brewing a cup of tea. If you don't pay f***ing attention to the task ongoing, burning the house down or the infirmary is where you'd be going. For Dingus felt compelled to repeat the same argument over and over, the rage was building up and Lori felt the need to regain composure. Lori stopped, sighed, and looked at Dingus' way and tried to gather his thoughts about what to say. He wanted to start speaking, and with his mouth slightly agape, Lori held back as this was turning into a chalkboard nail scrape. Any attempts at trying to reason with this idiot was going nowhere, so Lori pretended that Dingus' head exploded while sitting in his chair. This happy thought granted him bliss for a few seconds or two, suddenly enlightened and he knew that there's no point in arguing with a repeating cockatoo.